I made the dreaded mistake of leaving my house at 6 a.m. Because at the moment I am stuck in horrendous traffic coming into Kingston uh, on the way to Fulham. Disaster. So I've been stuck in this road now for an hour and 45 minutes. Just one crash on the A3, doomed. So I thought I would uh, film a video. So what am I doing today? At 11 a.m. I am on the way to uh, see a potential prospect. Uh, he's got a place in uh, Portland Place near the BBC Centre. Flat, 750 square feet. He wants uh, complete remodeling, refurbishing. So I'm working out basic rule of thumb. 150 quid a square foot times by 750 square feet, whatever it is. I think it's 120k for the um, for the refurbishment plus kitchen. So let's factor in 20k for a kitchen, two bathrooms, 5k each, maybe 20, 30 grand for joinery. It gives you a ballpark number um, because when a client calls us all they're interested in really is how much is it going to cost so and again how the hell do we know until we get a full scope of works it's called a ballpark quote it's a guess basically it's a guess over my experience over the last you know 15 years how much I think it's going to come in at because we don't want to go away and uh, spend time and money creating a full scope of works when it's going to come in at maybe you know more than he wants to spend so we get that ballpark number agreed first obviously it's presented nicely um, maybe that ballpark's broken down into five or six sections from prelims strip out uh, first fix, second fix, kitchens, bathrooms, so on and so forth. And then um, if he wants to go ahead, we get a 10% booking fee. And then if it needs interior design, interior designers do it. If it needs any planning, the architecture team does it. And then it comes back to us with a scope of works, which we can then price up correctly. The A to Z how to do the build and how to construct it. So that is uh, 11 o'clock and then I'm heading over to Battersea to meet a few new business partners, uh, which we are setting up a company to basically develop properties for this Chinese fund so that is going to be taking me in a different direction as well as doing the construction but you know obviously do multiple lines of income um, so that's going to be good um, and I think we've already got a couple of deals for that uh, new company I've been working on uh, one in Lily Road, Fulham. They want 995 for it. It's 1,600 square feet. I know we can add a further 400 square feet by doing um, kitchen side return, double extension, carving it up then into three apartments and then refurbing so i think buy for nine say get it for 900 300 grand doing it up creating the extra square footage so that brings it up maybe to 2000 square feet 
and then you pump it back on the market for 800 pound a square foot maybe more because these are smaller units smaller units are easier to sell and that means you can sort of go for a little bit more pound per square foot so that's that one and then there's another one in Sands End in Fulham unmodernized side return full refurb potentially carving up in two flats or keeping it as one house I think that is your buy for 1.25 spend maybe 2 250 on it back on the market for maybe a 25 percent return now i've never had so many deals in the pipeline over the last sort of 10 years because we re we've been hitting brand awareness like crazy over the last six months so we're getting a hell of a lot of uh leads through instagram facebook uh youtube google linkedin vlogs podcasts networking cold calling 